Welcome to GrainFuse. GrainFuse has developed and provided customizable learning solutions for schools, universities, and libraries since 1999. GrainFuse Help Now is a comprehensive, integrated suite of e-learning tools that feature live, online tutoring, collaborative learning, and self-study options to better accommodate different learning preferences. Help Now gives power to students to achieve their goals by giving them the option to choose the type of help needed. Help Now is for learners who need immediate access to a live tutor, those who want the benefits of personal tutoring without having to pay for an expensive tutor, and students who prefer to work independently. Let's do a quick overview of the service options. For students who need to connect immediately to a tutor, they can click on either Live Help or Skills Building. Use the Writing Lab to submit essays, papers, and even college essays for feedback from our tutors. BrainFuse will return the review document typically in 24 hours. Click on the 24-7 Center to submit math, science, or social studies questions. Language Lab is for students who have Spanish homework or wish to brush up on Spanish. For students who want a more personalized experience, simply click on Sign Up to create a username. BrainFuse username allows students to access the learning account features, which include a complete replay of all prior tutoring sessions, Message Center containing files sent back from tutors, Test Press Center, Calendar for scheduling one's own peer-to-peer -peer study groups, and Brainwaves, which are recorded whiteboard notes that can be shared by email. Test Center contains state-aligned practice quizzes as well as SAT, ACT prep. What makes the BrainFuse Test Center unique is the fact that we combine practice tests with live skills building, where after taking a practice quiz, you can connect instantly to a tutor from the test results page. Of course, all of the quiz results are saved in the Test Center, and the quizzes can be retaken. Any live test prep session can be replayed from the past sessions page. Starting with the Flashball feature, BrainFuse offers learning tools for independent learners. Flashball is a robust learning resource where you can find flashcards or create your own. You do need to create a separate username for Flashball if you wish to create your own flashcards. Meet and Brainwave are additional features that allow you to take more control of your learning. Choose Meet to schedule live, online study groups with friends or set up online sessions with your teachers. Brainwaves allow you to record what you do on the whiteboard and chat and share it with others by email. To recap, you do not need to create a username to use BrainFuse if you just want to use Live Help or Skills Building. We do strongly recommend signing up and creating a unique username so that you can experience our personalized tutoring through our learning account features. Let's explore Help Now more, starting with Live Help. Click on Live Help. This is the Live Help page. In order to connect with a tutor, simply select the grade and the subject and click on Get Live Help. Here, we have chosen Live Help in SAT Math Prep. As you can see, BrainFuse automatically assigns a generic username if you choose not to create a username. Many students log in as guest users and receive instant help. Even as a guest user, you can still replay your tutoring sessions later. Click on the envelope icon to email the whiteboard replay to yourself or others. Guest users can also send files to tutors using the document sharing button on the whiteboard, although they will not be available after closing the whiteboard. We will review the other essential whiteboard features later when we take a more detailed look at how you can use BrainFuse for test prep. This is the skills building page, and as you can see, the only difference with the Live Help page is you get to select a specific skill or topic. Your tutor also sees the topic chosen by you and can load the lessons 
related to your chosen topic onto the whiteboard. Language Lab is another service that does not require a username, and guest usernames can access live tutors. Click on the Language Lab if you wish to get help with Spanish homework or want to brush up on Spanish. Choose Spanish and click on Get Live Help to get a Spanish tutor. Let's take a look at the Writing Lab, 24-7 Center, and the Test Center. Writing Lab and the 24-7 Center requires a BrainFuse username. Test Center also requires a username. When you try to use the Writing Lab, 24-7 Center, or the Test Center, you will be asked to create a username, and our system will walk you through the easy steps. Click on the Writing Lab. You are asked to put in your username and password. Click on Sign Up to create a username. Put in the username and the password that you want, and you're all set. When you log in with your username and password, you have access to the personalized learning account features. View past sessions, message center, my test, calendar, brainwave, and my cloud pack. Let's go back to the writing lab to submit a paper for review. This is the writing lab. Upload the paper that you want to send. Add any special note for the tutor here. Click on Submit. Now click on the Message Center to see the paper that you just submitted. 24-7 Center works the same way, except it's for non-writing homework questions. This is the 24-7 Center. Enter your grade, subject, homework question, upload any files, and click on the Submit button. As is the case with any document sent to BrainFuse, whether it be through the Writing Lab, 24-7 Center, or the file sharing feature on the whiteboard, everything is saved and stored in the Message Center. This is the uploaded algebra file. Note that our tutors do not rewrite for the student or give out the answers. We offer suggestions and guidance. The Writing Lab is not an editing service, and the 24-7 question is not a question and answer service. Students are expected to do their own work. As this sample tutor feedback shows, we do not provide the answers. At the end of each tutor feedback, you are encouraged to resubmit for additional feedback if you need further clarification. Let's now turn our attention to the test center. This is the test center. Choose the practice quiz. BrainFuse Test Center covers state-aligned practice quizzes as well as SAT and ACT practice tests. Click on the test to open it. Click on Start Test. Let's skip to the end of the test. This is the Answer Summary page, and not only can you view the skills that you need to work on, but you can connect directly to a live tutor, as you will see. Click on Get Live Help to connect to a live tutor who will review the topic. You are now connected to a live tutor. You can put the quiz questions on the whiteboard. Simply go back to the quiz answer summary page to get the questions. Here is the answer summary page. And let's say that you want to put question number 13 on the whiteboard. Copy or screen capture this question onto the whiteboard. You can also press Alt plus Print on your keyboard to capture the image. Now you see the question on the whiteboard. Let's review the whiteboard tool. This is BrainShare, or file sharing. Click here to send documents to the tutor. This page 
is the same as the message center on the student home page as shown in the next slide. These are the files under your message center on your whiteboard. This is your message center on your home page. As you can see, the two message centers are the same. This is BrainFuse Cloud Pack, which allows you to load files directly onto the whiteboard. To upload documents using My Cloud Pack, go back to the Help Now home page and click on My Cloud Pack. From the My Cloud Pack pop-up window, select the My Cloud Pack folder. After clicking on the My Cloud Pack folder, you will see three options, Upload File, Add Link, or Create Document. Choose Upload File to load documents onto My Cloud Pack. Put in the title and description. Click on Browse to select your document from your computer. You see the uploaded file, then click on the Save button on top. Here you see the uploaded and saved document. Now that you have saved files onto Cloud Pack, go back to the whiteboard and click on My Cloud Pack from the whiteboard. Click on Refresh and then the My Cloud Pack folder and you see the same uploaded file. As you can see, it's the same file. Click on the file to upload directly onto the whiteboard. Let's review the rest of the whiteboard. You can free draw and write with the pencil. Eraser erases anything done on the whiteboard. ABC is for typing, and you can type anywhere on the whiteboard. Click on font to change the font type and size. Color palette is for changing the color for anything done on the whiteboard. This is the graphing tool. You can choose the number line or the graphing paper. To change the number interval, double click on the number line icon and you will get a pop-up window. Select the numeric interval options that you want. For the graph paper, double click on the icon to change the number interval. Put in the minimum and maximum numeric value. Then choose the type of graph paper that you want, including fractions and pi. You can also change the graph paper color. This button is for common geometric and math symbols. All the shapes are completely resizable and you can move it anywhere on the whiteboard. This is the undo button and it undoes the very last thing done on the whiteboard. This is the math symbol tool. Just select a desired symbol and use the font or color palette to change the font or color. This is the science symbol tool and works the same way as the math symbol tool. These are superscript and subscript tools. Click on the ABC icon to go back to regular typing after using the superscript or subscript button. Click on the ABC icon to type Y. Then click on the subscript button to make number 3 a subscript. Next, we will take a look at Flashbulb. As you can see, Flashbulb contains a robust library of educational games, including the SAT flashcards. Remember that you need to create a separate username if you wish to create your own online flashcards. Let's walk through how Meet works. Meet allows you to schedule your own online study group sessions with friends or teachers. Put in the email addresses of those you wish to invite. Put in the date and time and any notes that you wish to add to describe what the online session will be about. Click on Send, and the online invitation will be sent to your friends or teachers. Click on Edit to change the date, time, or cancel the online meeting altogether. 
Click on Enter to open the Meet Whiteboard. Meet Whiteboard is different from the regular student whiteboard, but you can still access the same Method Center and Cloud Pack from the Meet Whiteboard so that you have access to the saved files and can load them onto the whiteboard if you wish. Audio is available on the Meet Whiteboard. You just need a computer headset to use audio. Another key difference with the student whiteboard is the fact that the Meet Whiteboard is designed to accommodate a group. By right-clicking on the participant's username, you as the organizer have the option to enable private whiteboard, where everyone is on their own whiteboard. Disabling the private whiteboard will have everyone using the same whiteboard. After right-clicking on the participant's username, you get the pop-up options as shown. You can enable private whiteboard so that everyone can work on their own. Default chat is private, where only you, the organizer, can view what the person is saying in the chat. You have the option to disable private chat so that everyone can see what the person is saying. You can also do desktop sharing. You can also click on the icons next to the participant's username to disable the whiteboard access, chat access, and audio access. Clicking on the bubble with the exclamation mark will disable private chat. This is the participant's whiteboard, and as you can see, it's exactly like the regular student whiteboard. The last feature is Brainwaves. Let's take a look. Click on Create a New Brainwave. Click on Begin Recording. Put on the whiteboard and chat what you need to say or ask and click on Stop Recording after you're done. You will then be prompted to put in the email addresses to send it to others. We have now reviewed all the essential highlights of the Help Now service. Contact us at info at brainfuse.com if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the webinar.